we're going into uh, one of our crew compartment trainers, which uh, looks, I mean, the look at this thing inside is exactly like the space shuttle. It doesn't have the software like some of our other simulators have. Some of our other simulators don't have the look and feel, the model of this. The uh, height limit is six foot four inches. And I'm about six foot three and a half. So I'm right at, which is an advantage when we play basketball in our gym. You know, it's just, I know I'm gonna be the biggest guy there. There's other guys about my height, but. Uh, so that is the limit. So I'm pretty close to the limit, but, but not over. I, mean, I bang my head a lot, but that's probably more due to just general clumsiness. All right, so here we are in the mid deck of the uh, space shuttle. We have our uh, lockers right here where we put all our stuff. We'll have all of our clothes. A lot of our tools will be in here. Uh, all of our food will all be stowed in here. All of our books, what they call a uh, flight data file, which is our checklist, tells us what to do. Space is an open book exam. You know, if you need, a, if you need an answer, you can look it up in a book, and if that don't work, you can ask the ground, and they'll tell you. They're not gonna say, no, 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 you needed to know that. We're gonna, they'll let you know what's going on. It's open book. And uh, here we have uh, a model of our galley, which is where we can make our food. There's instructions on all the food, tell you what to do with it. It's kind of astronaut proof. Anybody can cook. The food's pretty good, and it's very easy to cook. This is our toilet. Uh, you sit right there, you know, you can you don't have to use too much imagination. It's not that much different than, a, than an earth toilet. Uh, we do have these things that come up and go over your thighs to keep you down seated on the toilet. Uh, and this is, this is for number two. When we go number one, there's a hose that we use that is not attached right now. You know, it's something everyone's going to be using on the flight just about every day. So it's an important piece of equipment, very vital. All right, so now we're on the flight deck, where uh, uh, the control of the space shuttle and the robot arm and all the windows are that we can uh, observe stuff with. So you have the front cockpit here where the commander and the pilot sit. So like on our flight on Hubble, the telescope will be out in the payload bay along with all of our equipment. And uh, when we're spacewalking, we'll have one guy standing here uh, reading a checklist, kind of like the choreographer. And then over here will be our arm operator, uh, who is primarily Megan MacArthur, who is going to be working the robot arm. We always have one guy, uh, one um, uh, spacewalker, free floating, moving around under their own power. And then the second spacewalker is on the robot arm on a little platform and uh, gets moved around by Megan. We're going to be filming lots of stuff. We have cameras on our helmets that he'll be recording. And we'll be using the cameras on the, on the payload bay as well for, for different things. And, and coordinating all that, so it's a lot of action during the, during the spacewalks, looking out this way. We all like to do cool stuff, you know, like stuff you dreamt about when you were a little kid. You never really grew up, you know, you still get to do that. You like flying in, in fast airplanes and, and uh, learning how to fly in spaceships and you know, spacewalking and doing all this stuff is pretty cool. We're interested in exploration. We're interested in trying to increase our understanding of what's out there in the universe.